everyone. This is Oreko Olushebo, Physics Mathematics Fundamentals on YouTube. Please, before we go into today's exercise, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification button so that you can have more of my videos. Uh, in my live video, please, my last video, do not forget that uh, I put up uh, a video concerning the revision of the uh, vector equation of a straight line. And I also solve a relevant exercise. You can quickly uh, refer to that uh, video so that uh, you can get yourself acquainted with uh, the presentation on the vector equation of a straight line. But today, we want to solve a problem under vector equation of a plane. So, before we move further, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my video. Also, click on the notification button. Thank you. Now, today's topic under vector is vector equation of a plane. Fundamental approach to problems and the solution. When I mean fundamental, I mean deriving the necessary formula and then solving the problem. Now, what do we mean by a plane? A plane is simply if a flat surface. Let's say we have this particular uh, plane. It's a two-dimensional uh, geometrical uh, expression. Now, this is a plane. Let's say there is a particular uh, perpendicular vector along this plane. Let's call it vector n bar uh, with a component a, b, c. That is in 3D form. Now, let's say there is a vector, uh, this particular vector on this particular plane. Let's call it a vector that originates from uh, point A um, moving down to point, uh, point uh, B. So, um, this particular vector as we have here now, we can refer each of these points of this vector to a fixed point O. So, if you move from fixed point O to point A on the plane, I will call that vector, vector A. If I move from fixed point O uh, to point B, I will call that vector, vector B. So, I want to have an expression that connects this vector on the plane together with this uh, vertical vector N. How do we do that? Now, let's assume that I want to move from point A to point uh, B. So let the length of that uh, line be L. If I'm, instead of me moving from A to B, I can move in this direction and still get to B. Now, if I move in this direction, you can see that I'm moving against the arrow, so the vector will be negative. As I'm moving in this direction, because I'm moving towards the arrow, the vector will be positive. So that means vector AB, vector AB, that is a moving from AB, is going to be negative vector a bar plus a positive vector b bar. This b bar. So, which can be rewritten as a vector b bar, take away vector a bar. So, I have vector a b bar here. Now, this particular vector b, let me say I represent it with arbitrary coordinates x, y, and z. And then uh, let's say uh, the vector a, the coordinates are known. And the coordinates are taken as S1, Y1, and uh, Z1. Now, I can have an expression for this vector AB here. This vector AB can be rewritten. For my vector B, I have this X, Y, Z. So I can write it as X, Y, Z. Take a vector A is what I have here, S1, Y1, Z1. So I have it as S1, Y1, and uh, Z1. So... We can surpass each of these so that we have this expression s take away s1 y take away this one that is y take away y1 and z take away z1 z take away z1 so difference in the coordinates of the two vector that is my vector a b now for vector a b to be perpendicular to this particular vector that's perpendicular perpendicular simply means as angle 90 degree don't forget this is the plane plane surface now, for these two vectors to be perpendicular, their dot product must be equal to zero. So, uh, this vector m bar dot vector a b bar, their product, this is a dot product, it's called dot product, dot product. 
So the address products must be equal to zero. Now uh, vector uh, m bar is a b c. So I'll rather write them as a b and c. Let me write the a very well. So dot vector a b is going to be x minus s one, y minus y one, and z minus uh, z one is equal to zero. What I have here is the equation of a plane, or I'll rather call it vector equation because it involves vector vector equation, vector equation of a plane. So this expression I have here now, we are going to use it to solve an exercise here. The question says, find the equations of a plane containing point A whose position vector is given by i plus 5j plus 3k and perpendicular to the vector 2i plus 3i plus 6k. Uh, uh, now, this particular vector, <clears throat> vector A is actually this vector here, which is uh, given as S1, Y1, Z1. And uh, the vector that is perpendicular to is 2i plus 3i plus 6k. So the perpendicular uh, component will be 2, 3, and 6. So I'm going to write 2, 3, and 6. Dot. Then I have the coordinate x, y, and z. Minus, for the s1, y1, z1, this is the component of this vector a, which is, I will take the coefficient of this component vector, that is 1, 5, 3. So I'm going to write 1, take away 5, and take away 3. Everything is got to 0. Now, how do we do this dot product? We are going to use this one to multiply the bracket and add it to the next subsequent one. I will use this to multiply this, add it to use this to multiply this, add it to use it to multiply this. So, starting from this one, I have 2 times uh, x minus 1, then I add it to 3 times this, 3 times uh, y minus 1, uh, 5, then I add it to 6 times uh, 2, uh, z minus 3, 6 times uh, z minus 3 is equal to 0. When I open this, uh, now, one thing, when I open this bracket, I'm going to have 2 times x, that will be 2x minus 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 3 times y, 3y, minus 3 times 5, that's 15, plus 6 times z, that's 6z, plus times minus, that's minus, 6 times 3, that's uh, 18, is equal to 0. Now, I can take the one that I have in variable on one side now, uh, like writing 2x plus uh, 3y, plus uh, 6z. Then I combine minus 2, minus 15, and minus 18. Minus 2, minus 18, give us minus 20. Minus 20, minus 15, give us a uh, minus uh, 35. So I can now write it as a uh, 2x plus 3y plus 6z is equal to 35. This is the equation that we are looking for, the equation of the plane. The question says, find the equation of a plane containing point A whose position vector is given by i plus 5j plus 3k and perpendicular to the vector 2i plus 3i plus 6k. So the position, uh, the uh, vector equation of that plane is what we have here. Thank you so much concerning your patience in listening to my video. Please do not forget to like and share this video. Thank you. I'll be looking up for meeting you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.